to know beautiful people that are aware of good afternoon Whew, Sunday um, October 20th 2024 hope y'all doing all right this morning or this afternoon or this evening I don't know whatever day whatever time it is in your city or town um, it's hot in this car it's 80 79 degrees in this car on in October, October 20th. And you all believe it? Talk about climate change and global warming. But I'm not complaining because it can stay like this all winter. Real talk. If I could wear, I got on a sundress. If I could wear a sundress in the uh, month of December, girl, 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 I would be doing flip flops all the way down this cartwheels not flip-flops, car wheels all the way down the street. Um, I did do a beat, but my eye was starting to water. So I had to take those eyelashes off because it was really starting to irritate my eye. I think I am suffering from dry eye. Have you all ever, you all are probably familiar with that. But anyway, my sister told me that she was diagnosed with dry eye. Now you would think dry eye would mean that your eye don't run, but my eye runs. And this is the same eye that I had the uh, that the pink eye infection in. And I think the reason why oh, it's just running. But I don't know really if it's the pink eye because not only does my eye run my nose run too. My nose is running. So I don't know if it's from uh, pink. I don't know if it's from dry eye. I guess that's what I'm saying. Tissue in here. If it's dry eye or if it is allergies. I don't know which one it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's hard to figure this out. But I am so irritated because it's messing up my whole vibe with my makeup. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I got the sunglasses on. And I don't know if I need to wear my glasses more. I don't know. But it's always this eye right here. The right eye that gives me the promise. Not the left one. It's the right one. And it feels up. And my sister was saying that she thinks that I, I'm suffering from that. So I'm going to go and I'm going to um, get these uh, eye drops. I have these medicated eye drops that I said I was going to put in my eye. I still have the medicated eye drops that I had when I had the eye infection and I said I'm going to put those in there. But I also think that I'm suffering from some type of allergies because my nose um, my nose is, run, is wet you know like just it just it don't run run but it's just a little wet you know and I'm not sleeping under no air conditioner or no fan, although I had a fan on every once in a while, but I have it on real low. But, um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. And uh, I just came out the house and saw that all this, I guess the day that it was real windy, I don't know what it is about my house, but I attract every piece of paper. And so there's paper in my yard, like near the bushes. And then when I just, I just took the garbage out. It reminds me how to put on more hand sanitizer. I just took the garbage out. And um, uh, I saw that on the side, in the back, in the backyard, by the back door, some, the wind must have blew. So all this is some bag of Doritos, a Target bag. It always blow this way. I don't. I don't understand that. So when I come back home, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to get. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get that up. So that's that. But it just seems like my house just attracts. I'm here. 
here. I'm here. Um, I just did a video of uh, a bag, a handbag. And um, I haven't posted it yet. Um, but I will. By the time you see this video, you will have seen that video. And um, so, yeah, I just did that. divasness with this eye <sighs> and like I said I, I don't believe it's the eyelashes I really really don't I just don't believe that because actually um, what I noticed since I've been having using that black glue the sassy glue and I've been using the uh, the uh, you know the uh, the regular glue this other glue come on y'all I know I noticed that uh, that my eyes are not my eyelids are not swelling up so this glue is better because she did say this glue has is non formal formaldehyde and she said products that have formaldehyde I know I'm saying it wrong um they tend to have you more allergic um you know so she told me she said yeah this this is a non formaldehyde glue so like I said it, it hasn't um it hasn't made my eyes itchy i just think that i'm suffering from like i said dry eye but it just seemed like dry eye your eye would not be watered why does your eye water when you have dry eye and itch now i remember my sister was suffering from it and she wears glasses every day everywhere she goes she never takes her glasses off and i'm starting to think like do i need glasses want to wear glasses I've, I've gone and I've, I've, I've been fitted for glasses I had an um, eye appointment for glasses but I didn't go out to dinner with my friend last night. I don't know what he had something going on. I don't know. We supposed to try to go this coming Friday. Um, I just want to go and eat something really, really good with my fat ass. But I do. I want some good food. Yesterday when I did that video, somebody wrote. And I was doing a lot of huffing and puffing and they were annoyed. I didn't go back and read. I was like annoyed. But I didn't go back and read her comment. She she's been on she watches me. I know I've seen her on my channel a couple of times. Y'all listen. I'm just being CC. You know what I'm saying? I fuss, I cuss, I pray, I thank God, I get on here and talk about this, that, and the other. I'm just being me, y'all. I'm not trying to annoy nobody. I'm not trying to get under nobody's skin. I'm not trying to make nobody feel a certain type of way. Or, you know, it's a whole lot of stuff I can say on this channel, but I don't. Like, I be wanting to talk about politics, but I don't. You know, talking about my faith enough, that, that alone is enough to possibly make somebody say, oh, you know, um, I ain't gonna watch her because she always getting on there praising God, thanking God. But you know what? That's something I'm gonna do. Okay. I don't give a darn who don't like 
me thanking God or giving God some praise or giving God some recognition. I love the Lord with all my heart, my mind, body, and soul. And although I may not do everything the Lord tells me to do and I may not walk in righteousness every day, but I love him. I love him because he first loved me. So I'm not going to ever get on here and not give God some or some honor, glory, and praise. I'm not going to ever get on here and not tell y'all how God has, has and blessed me. I'm not going to ever get on here and not share the blessings of God and the goodness of God. I'm not going to ever get on here and not talk about his glory and talk about how wonderful he is and how good he is all of the time, even through my trials and my tribulations. I'm not going to never get on here here and never say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I praise your holy name because you are worthy. You are the king of king and the, and, and, and the alpha and the omega and I surrender everything to you. I'm never, ever, ever, ever not going to get on here and not recognize Jesus. Jesus, because I know what he's done for me and I know who he is to me. So I don't uh, I don't try to offend or push off anything to anyone in any way for any reason because everybody I know we all serve and we all have different faiths and different beliefs. Mine happens to be uh Jesus and I don't put nobody down for being who they are. So, you know, I may get on here and I may say or do some things that y'all might think is kind of weird, kind of quirky, kind of off, kind of crazy, kind of like, oh my God, here she go. You know, but we have, if, if we're friends over here, we're, we're, we're commun been communicating and been talking and been dealing with each other, you all should know by now who I am and what I am and how I talk and what I say. I get mad, I cuss. That's just who I am. I talk about everything on here. I'm very transparent. You know, whatever I don't want you all to know, I won't share. But I am who I am. And I don't know, I'm not going to ever apologize for that. I stopped apologizing a long time ago for me being who I am. You know, um, so I don't want to offend or annoy anybody at any time for any reason. But that's just how I talk, you know. All the bombs are out. Always, I just don't understand how you become a bomb all your life. Just bombs, bombs, and bombs, and Now this 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 couple across the street, these people across the street, they got mad at me and they thought that I had called the police on them because this house that's across directly across the street from my mom. My mother been living over here 54 years, if not 55 years. And um 54, 55 years, something like that. And, you know, I know pretty much everybody over here in this neighborhood. But anyway, they were just doing the most, these, these people. And they thought I had called the police on them. And I didn't call the police on them, right? I hadn't called the police on them. And so the girl who lives directly across the street from me, across the street from my mom, I've been knowing her since I was a little girl. We grew up together. She's a, she's a couple of years older than me. But anyway, we grew up together. We've been friends forever. So she had called me to say that the lady next door had said that somebody was up in the driveway. Now she, her daughter is living in the house now, but she said somebody was up in it. Somebody was living in the house and was bathing in the back. It was these people. So I didn't call the police. You know, I didn't call the police. And um, so. Uh, but the other, the lady over here, she called the police and said that she, that somebody was back there bathing. How you gonna turn on somebody water hose and take a whole bath in their backyard? Now, apparently they were homeless, okay? They were homeless, so that's why they were doing that. So look like now they got a different car. So I don't know if they working now, I don't know. But when I tell you they ghetto as hell, 
and then they were out here uh, the little girl was over here in my mama driveway at the end of the driveway with some chalk drawing on the end of the driveway so I said to not the little baby I said to the mama I said excuse me I said could you get your baby tell your baby not to draw um, in this driveway she's like <laughs> Now, let me tell you, right now, she got on the bonnet. The baby got on the bonnet. The, her father is standing here. He's nothing but a stone bum and alcoholic. I can't stand them, okay? She, so when I told her to get her baby, she gonna say, uh, you, you can tell her to stop drawing. I said, no, I'm telling you, because you're her mom. I said, are you her mom? Yeah I'm, her mom. yeah, I'm her mom. I said, so I'm telling you. I said, I don't need to talk to a little kid. I'm telling you to get your baby from drawing in my mama's, in this driveway. So she gonna say, well, where can she draw? Can she draw right here? Can she draw over here? You know, just being real, a real, real, what she is. Low class, ghetto, bonnet head, house shoes, sliding, trick. Okay, so I said she can't draw over here, right here, or any other place over here. Now, what she do y'all do in the street? I said, why would y'all want to chalk to draw up the street? And here was the thing: they just gave my mother and them new sidewalks and new driveways. So, why would you want? this to be all marked up with orange, pink, and green. You motherfuckers don't even live over here. Y'all don't even have a house. Y'all don't live, no. you don't pay no property taxes. You don't pay to get no grass cut, but you wanna draw over here. And you wanna get an attitude because I tell you to get your baby. You ghetto ass trick, ho. I can't stand them. And I haven't seen them in a while. So when the police came, they thought I called the police on them for that. I said, I don't wouldn't call the police on you for so the, when the police, so when my when the lady across the street called and said, I'm on my way. She said, I'm right, I'm I'm up, I'm not far. She said, but the lady next door, I'm not gonna say her name, she said, she said that somebody is back there in my yard and the house was empty. Somebody in the backyard taking a bath. I said, what? I said, well, it's a car parked up in the driveway and it was them. So when the police came, I came out and I said, the owner of the house just called me. She's on her way. She's not far. And I said, um, he said, well, did you see anybody coming from, um, uh, from, in, from the, it, does it look like anybody broke in? I said, I haven't seen nobody back there. I said, I haven't. You know, I said, so I can't say that, you know, that I've seen that. So, he was like, okay. So, then the lady came out. She said, they they was back here. She was pointing to them. She said, they was back here taking a bath in her backyard. And so, they was like, what? You know, now this lady live across the street. I've known her, for, her forever. She's 93. So how you gonna disrespect a 93 year old woman? And she gets around doggone good, okay? But how you gonna disrespect a how you gonna disrespect a 93 year old woman to my what? We went in her backyard. You don't know what the F you talking about going off on her. And I'm like, hey, hey, hey. I said, that's all. That's that woman been in this neighborhood longer than you probably been in, in the world. And you gonna go, you gonna talk to her like that? So <clears throat> The police was standing up here in my mama's driveway asking me about the house, right? The boy gonna come across the street, the 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 one she got these babies by, this bonnet head trick, ho. Baby hanging all out the window with a bonnet on. They just, anyway, he come, he started walking on the driveway. So the police said, what are you walking up here for? What you need? Oh, so what, so what, so what, so what, so what, so what? You called the police on us because the baby was drawn up? And I said, what? You called the police on us because the baby was, the baby was, the baby was, uh, the, my little girl was drawn on up in your mama's driveway at the end of the driveway. I mean, that's just so pity. And the police said, back up and back out the driveway. So we talking to her about something else. We ain't talking about that. I said, call the police on you about, and the police looked at me and said, ma'am, it's okay. We ain't, I'm talking, we talking to you. We not talking to him. So I ain't say nothing. So Chris came out and Chris was looking at him like, <laughs> really so 
I told them again. I said, I didn't see that. So the lady who had called, the 93-year-old woman, she comes walking across the street and said, yeah, they was taking a bath. So she said it again. So they looked at them and said, were you all taking a bath back there? No, we had went back there to turn the water hose on. What the fuck is you back there somebody backyard turning on a goddamn water hose for? What you in the backyard turning on the water hose for at all? So she going to say, we, he said, we turned on the water hose. Okay, you turned on the water hose. So you turned on the water hose to do what? So then she going to try to act like they was up there washing the car. But were you still on private property in somebody's driveway washing your car? You sound stupid as hell. So, okay, so then, you know, so then the, when the, after the lady walked over, the older lady walked over and said that, she said, y'all was back there taking a bath. Y'all was. I saw you. I saw you. So then the owner pulled up, and so she got out, and I said, that's the owner. I said, so I'm going to go back in the house. So then the, uh, the girl, the young lady, she was like, I'm going to come back over here after they leave. I said, okay. So they go in the house. They go check the house out, see if anybody, because when a house is empty, it's prone to have squatters, right? If you have squatters. But, I mean, she had it hooked up with a, a ring camera on the door, the alarm and everything, you know. So they went all through the house to make sure there wasn't nobody in the house. Nobody was in the house. So she came on out. She came on out with the police and she came across the street and rang the doorbell. And so she was like, um, you know, um, uh, what's the name? The late old lady, what's gonna call the old lady? Old lady said that they was back there taking a bath. I said, Yeah, I said, that's what she told the police that they were back there taking a bath in your backyard. She was like, I'll be damned. And I said, Yeah, she said, Well, what is what's up with them? I said, well, Apparently, they're homeless. I said, And they were all taking a bath, you know. And so she was like, oh, she was like, well, you know, I mean, if they really just in a bad spot or whatever, you know, I don't mind helping them out or whatever. I said, look here, I'm just going to call her. We're going to call her uh, Mary. I said, look here, Mary. I said, I wouldn't let these folks in my house to kill a fly or the flea, okay? I said, they own BS. And I said, I'm telling you this right now. I said, you need to leave them alone. Let them go to the field house or wherever they got to go to take a bath. Okay? I said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't let them in to, ki to kill a flea. I said, let alone take a goddamn bath. And so she said, really? I said, yes. I said, they be out here. I said, they loud, they ghetto, they be smoking weed, they be doing some of this, some of that, some of everything. I said, no, baby. I said, let them go to a shelter. She said, oh, I just feel bad because they got little kids, you know. And I said, mm-hmm. I said, I know. I said, but still, I wouldn't. And like I said, she got this little girl right here. And, and little girl, now she trying to gangster this little boy for the school. She trying to take his school. But she had a bonnet on her head. And I haven't seen them in a while. Every time I see them, they look like they had just dug themselves up from under the ground somewhere. And she looked like she pregnant again. like a like a puppy just to keep having babies you know what i'm saying because this is not the only one she has she got a couple of more i think i think she got her and another kid so this might be baby either baby number three or baby number four i don't know but child nevertheless you know but they're gonna say i call the police now, who calls the police about a child riding on the sidewalk in chalk you sound stupid as hell they have smoked so much goddamn weed they don't know what the fuck is going on but their father walks with this limp. I can't, I just, I, I, just, ugh, I just, I can't stand him. I can't stand him. I cannot. And so now the guy across the street, 
He said his mother moved. And now, since his mama has been gone, all the nothings in the neighborhood been over there at their that house. Whew. There was a house down the street from here, from my mom's house. They had just uh, they redid it, remodeled it, renovated it. Nice house, big driveway, long driveway, and garage. And I would have bought it. I would have bought it because I grew up in this neighborhood. But to be around these, nothing having, no working, ghetto, low life MFs, I couldn't do it. I can't live over here. I couldn't. I couldn't. And like I said, my mama has been here so long. And when my mother passes, God forbid, I'm selling this house. I'm going to either rent it or I'm going to sell it. Because the house is coming to me. So, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. But, um, well, the, she was giving me the house before if I didn't buy a house. But now that I bought my own house, I think it's between me and my sister. It's going to be in my, me, me, between, me and my sister going to decide what we're going to do with this house. I would like to keep this house in the family so we can have property, right? But, This neighborhood is getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And it's still a pretty nice, decent, quiet neighborhood. But I don't even know where these fuckers come from. They just attract. They just attract bullshit. So I told my mama, I said I'd be glad we I wish I wish my mama could get out this neighborhood. Her neighbors right here. There's this is a bishop and uh both of them are bishops, husband and wife. They've been here a long, long time. And they said if my mama move, they moving. My mama said if they move, she gone. Cause they share this driveway together. And they don't have no issues and they like each other. But the neighborhood all the people I grew up with in the neighborhood, they're pretty much gone. Except for the old lady. She been here a long time. Another lady that lived out street, my childhood friend's mother. She been here a long, long time. But everybody else is either died or they left. And there's so many Section 8 MFs up on up and around this. And like I said, it's still pretty quiet. But the house down the street, when they came... They attracted all of the bombs, you know, because they got the party, 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 you know. It's just pitiful, just pitiful. But anyway, y'all, uh, I'm going to get off of here and let you all go. But please check out that video that I just did. Um, and uh, look at that video, support that video if you can. It's saying that my views are down, but my subscribers are up. And my watch time hours are up. But the views are down. So, you know, such is life. Such is life. So, yeah. So now that they mama gone, now they all hanging over here. <sighs> anyway. Where do they come from? All it takes is one house to be the house that everybody congregate at. That's all it takes is just one in the neighborhood. And I'm so glad and so thankful that I don't have this. And I pray to God because everybody on my block has been there for 20, 30 years from what the people tell me that I, that I meet. They're retired, you know. And it's a lot of cops that live in the area where I'm at because they be riding up and down the street a lot. So that's a good thing. But if that changes, I'm telling you, this used to be, this neighborhood has really, really, really changed. Really changed. And then they mama and moved. She had left them the house. And I was just going to see how long, how, how they going to take care of this house now that she gone.
you know, I'm just really curious to know how they gonna take care of this house. Cause it's gonna be raggedy in a minute. Cause right now they got the screen door wide open, talking to uh to the other guy, the other brother. Why well, you got the screen door wide open? See, I hate ghetto shit like that. I don't like shit like that. Don't have my screen open. They all standing out here smoking weed. Oh, I just I'm just fucking disgusted. Anyway, y'all. Anyway, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys have had a great weekend. And um, I will see you guys on tomorrow. Um, I'll see you guys on tomorrow, Monday. It will be October 21st. Payday from YouTube. Yay. I think I made like $286 for the month of September. Um, for the month of October, I've only made a hundred and thirty-five dollars, which ain't bad. I used to struggle just to get to the threshold of a hundred dollars, so I'm grateful for every little thing. But anyway, I'm also grateful for you for all your love and all your support and all your continued prayers, comments, likes, subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I so appreciate you all. All right, you guys. I'll see you real soon. I'll see you on Monday. Can you believe it's Monday again? It seems like we just left there. Damn. Whew. Anyway, have a good rest of your day. I love you. God bless you. Bye.